This Makwele clinic is one of eight NHI clinics to be officially opened in the province. Mkiza says the government flagship program is set to avert challenges faced by villagers such as overcrowding and medicine shortages. Mkiza has reiterated that national health insurance will ensure people in the rural areas have access to quality health care services. Is what we call uh, NHI ideal clinics. We want our people to be able to have a sense of what it means to have an NHI system. In this system, we want to make sure that we solve a lot of the problems that the government, uh, that the public services is experiencing. The issues of shortage of staff, we are beginning to solve. The issues of infrastructure, we have also started uh, solving those. And the issues of shortage of medicine, we are also solving all of these. The, at the end of the day, we want our people to understand that this health system needs to be changed, changed for the better. When we propose the national health system, we're looking at a fund that's going to combine all sorts of possible funds, uh, sources, from taxes to surcharge to employer contributions, employer contributions, all of that together needs to be put together in a fund where in the uh, uh, cross subsidizations, those who are employed are actually helping those who are unemployed to be able to get the same kind, kind of service. Those who are healthier also help those who are sicker to be able to get the better service. Those who are employed are also having those helping those who are unemployed. Mkize also told gatherers they are probing the matter at Sulengama. Areas such as uh, Sulengama uh, um, Hospital, the issue is that there are con concerns about the quality of the uh, structure and therefore want to investigate what has happened. And we think that uh, in areas where the projects were not completed, in the areas where uh, there was uh, you know, maladministration, we're going to get a report and we expect that there should be consequences for those who did uh, you know, something wrong. Uh, we want to ensure that in all the areas where there's been uh, mismanagement, there must be actions and we believe that uh, strong management uh, interventions are important to ensure that uh, the quality of health services is, run, is, is rendered properly, but also that where people have not behaved in a way that is expected, uh, uh, there, there are quick consequences for that. To identify the need to actually deal with the hospital, refurbish it and actually make it a habitable hospital. But remember, the hospital is quite old. However, in the process of doing that, I want to believe we're disappointed by our own officials in what way. There has been a service provider attached wow. to doing the work. <laughs> that service provider did not do the work as expected. However, there's money lost to the process. And obviously, it's a matter that you need to follow up. We need to actually see to it well, who did really sign the... the, the the document that actually assists in paying out people. But exactly for what? Because there has to be value for money. So in a sense, we're looking at that matter and we're agreeing with the minister that we need to ensue an investigation. If we do have officials in the system that are part of that, even if they've left, there are procedural ways in terms of crime that must be followed. This issue of labor relations and others, for me, it doesn't really work in a situation of corruption and fraud. Locals welcomed the opening of the clinic. This clinic may be called a clinic, but to us, it doesn't look like one. We have a hospital. It is fully equipped. The previous clinic was overcrowded, and it used to be congested. Even when it's cold, we would sit outside. But here, we are comfortable, and we are indoors. The first clinic to comply with all NHI norms and standards will be officially opened by President Ramaphosa in Lusigisigi in the Eastern Cape next week. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Eastern Cape.